All four. And rest. And there goes maintenance. Hey guys, it's your girl Daily Ita and welcome back to my channel. So for today, this video is going to be kind of, I wouldn't say it's kind of weird. It's starting off a little bit weird, but I have a really, really, really important appointment on Thursday. Oh, by the way, today is October 22nd. It's a Tuesday. So now, you know, I have a couple days left from it being Thursday, but I'm actually going to be getting all four of my wisdom teeth removed. All at once all four yeah all four they're gonna be putting me to sleep but still like it's such I'm just so anxious and scared I've been you know when you get like this you watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos for reviews and stuff like that for any even if one thing goes wrong like that's scarred so lately I've been having I've realized that I've been having dreams about like stuff that has to deal with my teeth or just like a fear and it's because of this moment because I'm gonna be freaking getting all my wisdom teeth removed all at once and it's so scary I'm so anxious I don't even think I'm ready for it I think my family is more ready than I am but I kind of want to just let you guys know or just like vlog up until the day of I'm gonna see if I can record at the dentist office it's since I'm kind of new to this I don't know if they'll let me or if I'll be comfortable uh, my dad's gonna be coming with me because I need somebody who can drive because I'm gonna be drugged all right I'm gonna be drugged up just saying but yeah just kind of wanted to let you guys know um, and you know, I guess I kind of also wanted to see the experience and see how I look and how wonderful it's gonna be for me. But yeah, so I just kind of wanted to inform you guys. I'll probably vlog a little bit more tomorrow. Um, where I work, I don't, I can't really vlog because so I'm <laughs> working. Duh. But anyways. Um, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know, so I hope you stay tuned and we'll look forward to whatever next clip I'll be adding, so bye! Okay, so today's the day. It is finally Thursday the 24th. Today's the day. And I'm thinking of like so many things as to not to go because like I've never gotten surgery, thank God. And this is like my first one. So I kind of just hate it. Like I just hate it. I just want to get it over with. I don't even want to go. But I have to do it and just get it over with. <laughs> but I'm so anxious that like, you guys have no idea. No idea. I kind of want to punch a pillow. I kind of want to punch the doctor. I kind of want to punch my orthodontist. Like, <sighs> but you know what? Everything is in God's hand, and everything is gonna come out fine. So I'm gonna let you guys go and head out. My dad will be taking me. I told him we would leave at 8:15, but. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> ready, Ita. Team Ita. <laughs> So 
songs and albums. If you can understand. Um, I didn't do that. So I got out of the surgery. Now we stopped to get some gas or stuff like that. But um, my mouth feels so numb. And we stopped to get some prescription. And now we're just waiting to go home and rest. The pain level from 1 to 10 right now, I'm going to give it a uh, 5, maybe even a 4, because I don't feel pain right now, but, oh, thank god I got it over with, so, see you guys in the next video. For us, I feel fine. Um, I did it, guys. Um, I'm still numb in like, this area, and I do feel like a little bit of pain in the back, obviously. Um, but I went ahead and popped some three pills that they went ahead and prescribed me. But besides that, I really don't even remember much. Don't even remember stopping at Walgreens. <laughs> so I like I said I just popped three pills, so I'm just gonna lay down and see what it does. Cause I'm tired. Oh and look, this is where they put the IV, which I think that was honestly the scariest part. It was just like the starting part. Um, but aside from that do not remember anything when I look in my mouth it looks like like they didn't even do anything it just looks like like I don't know it's kind of weird to explain but um yeah now it's just the healing process and dealing with the pain with the pain I have to take certain pills within a certain amount of hours which is annoying but um i should be fine and if i'm okay then i'll just stop taking the pills because i don't need them but just wanted to get on camera because they did not allow us to record in the um office that's that i mean this side of my face does look swollen it's i, I kid you not it's still numb Don't want to talk too much, so I'm just going to get off camera and just rest. And hopefully I'll wake up and I'll be fine. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Oh uh, man, that's pretty much it for now. Alright, there's still more, so stay tuned. Hey guys. Literally? Wow. So, sorry for that the it needs new batteries we're going to be getting that fixed so it's either i don't know you can consider this whatever you want to consider it day one or day two of post-surgery um for my wisdom teeth as you can see i feel fine i'm talking fine i think i don't know if i had swollenness last night but the swollenness has gone down i don't even remember recording some of the stuff i did it kind of to be honest, it kind of felt good, but you know, I'm glad it's all over. Um, like I said, I'm glad it's all over. Now, um, I'm just being really careful with everything I do, everything I eat, 
Now I'm just eating some oatmeal or porridge, whatever you want to call it. So I can keep that in my system and then I just have to take my antibiotics. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'll be waiting for my dad to come because I feel like maybe that will be the finale for this video. Um, recovery should be pretty straightforward. I'm hoping and praying to God that it is because so far so good. Um, it is Friday, so I, I'm lucky I have the weekend off, but um, stay tuned. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Sorry for that freaking alarm. I promise you it's going to get fixed today. We put in a work order, but literally this just happened like last night, like at 10. We were just like, are you serious right now? Anyways. Un poquito y sopa de lentejas con papitas y zanahoria. Como yo sé que no pueden masticar bien, después que termine de ahí, me la voy a echar aquí para que no sea duro. Oh, for the beans. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so that's what we're doing right now. Let's choose. And there goes maintenance to finally fix that freaking noise. So my mom finished making the lentes, um, sopa de lentejas, right? Lentes soup. So this is actually what hers look like. This is what mine is supposed to be looking like. There's a the packaging if you guys want to see it. My mom just adds like extra carrots, tomatoes, and sometimes ham. So after she put mine in the blender, just to make it a lot um, easier for me to eat, it looks like that. It looks like baby food. But you know what? I know how it tastes. I've had the original taste, so I'm not worried about it. So now we're just going to go ahead and eat it. I'll just picture mine looks like that when it looks like that. Alright guys, so I have my dad here with me. Like I said, I was going to ask him a couple questions in regards to my surgery on Thursday, Thursday morning. So, he was the one that actually took me. Um, they didn't let us record inside, which was fine. I didn't really expect to, but after the surgery, well before that, how long did it take? How long did you have to wait for me? I wait like close to an hour. Dang, close to an hour? Okay, in my eyes, I just closed my eyes and I opened them and I was out. Okay, so after after waiting for me, how did they take me out? Like, was I, I don't remember being on a wheelchair or anything. Like, well, how was I acting? As soon as I saw you in a wheelchair, you was crying and they took you out. <laughs> He was crying and um, and like feeling like you don't know where he was. It was crazy. A lot of pain. Um, he was like when you stand up to put you in the car, he was like all <laughs> everything was crazy. But we made it. We made it. Everything was everything was good. We made it. All right. So when they put me in the car, did. Like, were you scared or like, how were, how were you acting? Uh, my car was far, I have to put my car more close. And um, oh. then we put you in a ramp. Everything was easy to put you inside. Um, I know you was in, faith and, in pain because your face was swollen. And, <laughs> and you look like Kiko in the Chavo del Ocho. <laughs> but um, everything was normal, you know, we put you there. And, I take care of you right there. And when I got home, I just what, went to sleep? Straight to bed. <laughs> Straight to bed and I read the medicines to let you know the time that you needed to drink the medicines. Mm -hmm. take it. The worst was normal, you know, you rest and you wake up later, drink your pills. And you're starting to feel better cool. during the day. Cool. All right. Well, that sums up all my questions. I just needed to get this clip just so I can put you in my video since you were the one that were with me. So, peace. Peace and love, people.